Today I'm making an easy Cajun fish chowder soup. Welcome to Tessa's Kitchen and come join me as I cook. For the ingredients I have two pounds of haddock fillets, a can of chopped clams with the juice, some water, a can of cream of shrimp, milk, a jalapeno and some frozen corn, and I also have some red bell pepper, red potatoes, onion, and a lemon for some zest. I also have some salt and pepper, minced garlic, some Cajun seasoning and a bay leaf, and I also have some flour to help thicken the chowder. In my soup pot on medium-high, I'm adding a couple tablespoons of some good olive oil, my diced onions, and red bell pepper. Seasoning well with salt and pepper, stirring and letting them cook for a couple minutes. And then I'm adding a finely diced jalapeno pepper, stirring and cooking for an additional two minutes until the veggies are tender. Next goes in the corn, the minced garlic, a little bit more black pepper, and some lemon zest. Oh, and don't forget the thyme. Cook for two to three minutes, stirring frequently. And now the flour. Give that a good stir, making sure all the flour is absorbed and the veggies are coated. Cook for two minutes, stirring constantly, just to get that flour taste cooked out. The flour will give the chowder a little body. If you like your chowder a little thicker consistency, you can add more flour. I am starting to add my water slowly. I have eight cups. You can also use vegetable, chicken, or seafood stock. I didn't have any homemade or in the pantry, so I am using water and adding the cream of shrimp. Remember, this is supposed to be quick and easy, but still have lots of flavor. I am giving that a good swish in the pot and turning up my heat to bring up to a simmer. If you like this video, remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment below. You can also come visit me on Facebook, Google+, Pinterest, and Test Cooks for You blog. And now I'm adding my milk. You can also use cream or half and half. It's time for a taste test. And next goes in the cream of shrimp, which is going to add a lot of flavor and give a little body to the chowder. Give that a good stir to get that cream of shrimp well dissolved. And now I'm going to add my bay leaf and Cajun seasoning. I'm just adding a little of the Cajun seasoning. I don't want to overpower the taste bringing that up to a boil and reducing and letting that simmer for 10 minutes. And then I'm going to add my potatoes and cook for an additional 15 minutes. Five more minutes and we'll be ready to eat. And I am hungry. Adding the clam juice, stirring, and this is a good time to fish out the bay leaf. Then I'm adding the chopped clams and the bite-sized haddock. And the fish won't take long to cook at all, only about five to eight minutes. I'm stirring it gently as not to break up the haddock. This Cajun fish chowder was so quick and easy to make. In 30 to 40 minutes, it was done. Lots of flavor with the cream of shrimp, haddock, and clams. You can make this your own by adding your favorite fish and veggies. If you used a vegetable, chicken, or seafood broth, it definitely would add another layer of flavor and richness. The jalapeno gives it a background of heat. The flavor of the thyme and the Cajun seasoning comes through, but not overpowering. You can still taste the individual elements. Garnishing with some minced red bell pepper, some minced jalapeno, and some lemon zest. Thanks for joining me here in Tessa's Kitchen. 
If you like this video, please remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future recipe videos. You can also come visit me on Facebook, Pinterest, Google Plus, and Tess's blog. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time.